For those that don't know, before the Cat 6 Ethernet standard came out, during the later phases of Cat 5, there was actually a draft that didn't get released, but some devices still take advantage of. So this won't work for everybody, but if it does, you are one of the lucky ones. The technique is referred to as quad coupling. What it essentially does is it, it uses the physical cabling of four Ethernet connections to get a much faster speed than you could individually out of those four. You will need to grab four Ethernet cables. They can be Cat5 or Cat6. They will have to be less than a meter long or about three feet long because of the limitations imposed in the standard. Once you have the cables, you're going to need to chop them up. At this point, strip the cabling so that you can see the inner wires. You're going to want to do this to all the cables. And then you're also going to want to strip the individual wires. During this time, you can go ahead and plug in your soldering iron to get it nice and hot. You're going to want to take, on one end, four cable ends, and you're going to want to solder them onto one cable on the other side. What you end up is with a mess that looks like this. I'm just going to use electrical tape and, and tape it up. You should end up with a cable that looks like this. Now to reduce additional crosstalk created by the additional cabling, we need to twist the cable. Now at this point, we can go ahead and just try it out and see if it works. Plug in the four ends into your switch or your router, whichever one you're using, depending on your network. On the other end, we can go ahead and plug the single Ethernet cable into the laptop. So I, I just want to go on to speed test and see what type of speeds we get. Okay, let's click on uh, begin test. Check this out. Uh, I just wanted to show you the speeds that I got. Uh, and as you can see, the ping is down to 3 milliseconds. The, the download speed has improved a lot. We're looking at about 100 gigabit Ethernet right now. And as for upload speeds, um, you know, that's one of the disadvantages. Because of the single cable going into the computer, it's a lot more difficult to send data than to receive it. But that's the trade-off you get. Uh, as you see, the up upload speed is only 400 megs. It's a little trick you can try out if you've got the old hardware, if you don't mind uh, damaging what you've got. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. If you liked it, subscribe. Maybe you can suggest what video I make next. If, if for some reason your connection is not working and you are having problems, you might also want to try to shield your cabling, and I'll show you that in the next video.